All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Oshinoko episode three. In the last episode, uh, Aqua was doing some sneaky shit, basically kind of stopping Ruby from joining any idol groups. Uh, it he was going to continue doing that, but it ended up that he, the stepmother, uh, kind of opened up the idol division again within Strawberry Productions and has now recruited it, which is great. Ideal placement for her here um, in this kind of dangerous line of work. Um, but yeah, overall, a very good episode, and I'm continuing to love the mystery here. We also get a bit of uh, Aqua kind of pondering once again if he should actually pursue acting, which would be great, because he's clearly a very good actor. Um, but yeah, overall, very excited for this episode, so as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. A recap of last episode. Oh, Kana, yeah, I forgot about Kana as well. She showed up. And she seems nicer than when she was a kid. Sis complex, yeah. I mean, you only knew her once, Lolly Senpai. You only knew her once as a kid. She's her attitude's improved, I guess. What middle school are you from? You were delinquent. <laughs> Bro, she met this dude like once. What, ten years ago? Look at the effect he's had on her. My place? Yeah? She really trying it on with bro? <laughs> Dumb. Yeah. Not for that kind of reason though. Oh god, it's her again. <laughs> Sponging off your parent? Does he not pay rent? She probably got, comes from money or has money. Ah, uh, yeah. You did have talent. Your natural way of being is talent. Yeah, so that's got you interested? Wait, who's this? Is this the dad? Wait, who is this? Oh, this is annoying. Did he actually crack the passcode this way? Jesus Christ, he's persistent. Four years, dude. Did he? Did she keep like text message logs and stuff? That would help. Oh my God! Yeah, you you just think that whatever whatever floats your boat. Watch him walk in there and steal the the main part. Masaya Kabadi. Oh, this is him. Um, he he seems he's kind of old, doesn't he? Or maybe yeah, I guess he'd be around this age. He doesn't really look like these two though, or give off the vibes that they share the same genes. Yeah, I'm 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 trying to kill someone. That's my reasoning for this. Oh yeah, but I guess all he needs to do is just get some DNA. That's what he's trying to do here. It's got one star. Hey, that's a pretty cool role. True. <laughs> what are these cans of cans of beans? What the fuck? Oh, this is how she lives? Oh god. Oh. <laughs> This is the fucking show. I thought that's how she lived. I was like, where's the Uber Eats? Is the acting fucking horrendous? No wonder I got one star. What is with that guy? The way that guy speaks. It's like in anime when a foreigner speaks Japanese. That's what he sounds like. God, there's going to be a stain on your record, bro. He's going to come in, act his goddamn ass off. Bring up the rating for the show. Oh, 
You must just be a shit director. Okay. It's just machine content. Just pushing shit out. Ah, oh, she can't outshine them. Yeah. Damn, a lot of shit to think about behind the scenes in the industries and stuff that it's showing in this anime. Oh, that must suck for her as well, seeing her goddamn work come out like this. Yeah, can't get connections in the industry doing that. I'm glad she's not annoying like she was as a kid. But also she was a kid, so, and they are annoying, so it's fair enough. He's going to make it appealing. He's going to shine in this shit, probably. Fair enough. I like that. The way his, like, star shines out of his eye. What is with the way he speaks? He's just playing a stalker. He's not playing a cool villain. Damn. And he's playing a stalker with his past. Oh, this is him. What do you think, bro? Does he have the look of you? See, if he knew that, like he said his name and the company he comes from, he wasn't bothered by that at all. I don't think so. I don't think this is him. He doesn't stand out at all. Like, he kind of has a look. But I, I don't think so. Assuming as well that everybody else is aware, and it's like, the, the stars in their eyes and how what their eyes look like is actually seeable by people and not just from the audience. Like, that guy probably would have seen eye right in his face right there. Are they going to make the stalker handsome, bro? Come on. This, this has got to be playing on some kind of PTSD for Aqua as well. Jeez. True. Yeah, that's an adult in a kid's body. That explains that. Yeah, he kind of understands the industry from afar after all this time. She's very sweet. She's very in-depth about what she does in the industry she works in. Oh, that's a blow. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, that's sweet. I really wanted him to act his ass off here, but... Gotta do what you gotta do to see it through. I need to pay attention to when exactly his eyes are like lit up and when they're like really dark. It obviously says a lot about this the scene and the atmosphere. I thought this was a woman. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Damn, they're using her for that. Oh, he's gonna use the cigarette. How does he know which is which? I mean, I suppose one of them will be smoking. Is that the right one? Oh, he's gonna act his ass off. Let's go, Aqua. Let me see it. Right, so that was Oshinoko episode three. That was a really nice episode between uh, Aqua and Kana, getting to know her again and getting to know what she's been through all this time and what she's been working towards, how she's improved herself. It's really nice to see. Um, I'm really excited for the next episode because I want Aqua to, uh, sorry, I want Aqua to just blow this away. Oh, like he, he literally lifts the review level for this. He's had first time, uh, first hand experience of dealing with an actual mental psychopath, um, stalker, which is awful to think about. But yeah, this is definitely, there's definitely some method acting to this. He's gonna, he, he's gonna, he might even get the show renewed for a season two if he comes back as a, a character. So Damn, we'll see. Overall, a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.